In this tutorial, we will discuss how to build an e-commerce Shopify chatbot using VoiceFlow and Make. We will start off with basics of bot building on VoiceFlow and we will look at a template that has multiple conversation flows or intents. These are buying products, having customer support that frequently asks questions or people can actually create tickets and link them to Zendesk ideally we will be using Google Sheets in this example and we will also look at how customers can exchange or returns using same the Google Sheets we will also look at how to use sentiment analysis in our customer support when the customer is feeling frustrated or a customer feeling sad we acknowledge that the conversation feels more natural a bit more human and I will show you the prompts that I'm using the knowledge base on voice flow is really small, like 10 MB. If you have a large PDF file, we will show you how you can convert that large PDF file into a text file. So the size would be really small. And finally, we will look at how to integrate this published chatbot on a Shopify store. Let's dive in. Initially, the plan was to build the chatbot that I built my client a couple of weeks ago. What happened was I started out building that bot. When I was doing research on voice flow, I found out that they had a really great template that is way advanced than what I built my client. So I thought if me that has been working on these chatbots for over two months now, don't have any idea that these templates existed. Most of the people that are coming into AI automation agency industry wouldn't know that either. Why not teach you the basics and use that template? And in this tutorial, we will actually see how to use that template for our clients needs or for your own e-commerce store. I will show you how to edit the products, how to change up the link. And there is Zendesk in multiple parts of this template. We can actually change that Zendesk where people create uh, the tickets and we change it to Google Sheets. Let's start with the basics. If you don't have an account on VoiceFlow, you can create one. It's straightforward. I already have mine. Once you're in, you can hit new assistant, build an AI assistant, give it a name. For this tutorial, I'm integrating it with Shopify store. So let's say web chat and the language will be English. Let me clear all the stuff once you start these are called nodes let's say we are welcoming a new customer and great thing about voice flow is actually you can generate three to five variants so users will see a different welcome message each time the next we should learn about some of these cards that are important so let's start with buttons these buttons are for example this is an e-commerce store the first button would be shopping the product right let's say shop and this is a button. You can attach an intent to this. Because we are just starting out, we can create an intent right now. Create a new intent. For this intent, I'm naming it shop new products. Utterances, this, let's say we generated 10 different variations of I need to buy, hit command enter. And these are all will be under utterances. When people say any of these words, that means they want to buy new products and they will be taken into this intent flow. So we are creating this intent. Once we drag this intent, we already created an intent here, right? If you look at the drop down, shop new products. And in this, you can go ahead and create a new tab with the text. So for this shop button to be connected to intent, you drag it. Once you let it go under actions, you need to select under home. You have shop new products. If you run the assistant now, you will see glad to join pet parade. Once you hit shop, you'll be taken to that intent. Let's add some more buttons and look at some more components before we move into the template. The second button that I would like to add is open a ticket. You can add new button here after clicking on this. Let's say open ticket for this. We are attaching an intent as well. We can create a new intent, say open a ticket for utterances, accept all. And let's create an intent for open a ticket. 
So before we link up the intents, let's add one in the home, open a ticket. Once we do that, let's come here and select the, select the intent, home, open a ticket. So now for open the ticket, we uh, let's add a text. Would you like to submit a ticket? For this, we are, we'll be adding two buttons probably. Yes or no? Yes, yes and uh, Let's create one more button now for yes. Since they want to submit a ticket, we need to capture that information. So listen and capture. So to capture the user reply, the last utterance, we would need to say something, right? It makes sense. How can we, help? since it's a support email, I'm just writing a random text, but you get the idea. Once they hit yes, they will see how can we help and we are capturing the whole response and that is the last utterance it doesn't have to be last utterance if you want to create your own variable you can come here and hit nlu model and you can say variables these are all the variables and if you hit this plus sign you can say user ticket this will be the user's response for how can we help and we will be capturing that user ticket. What do we do this uh, with user ticket? You can actually have an API and we can send this whole response to Google Sheet or Zendesk or whatever. We will see more of this in the template when we move to the next section. So let's look at this template that I'm talking about and we can discuss things as they come up. This is the template that I'm talking about, complete retail chatbot template. I will have this in the description down below combined with the template that I edited, which can be also found in the resources link down below. This is retail purchaser web chat. When you start, you will see there is a lot of intents and flows here. In my previous bot for my client, I only added customer service and some lead capturing and lead conversion abilities. But this is on a whole new level. You have shop products, orders and purchases, returns and exchanges. So I thought it would be more valuable for you to get hands on this template, tweak it for your needs than me making that one or two featured template. So let's see what are the instructions that they said. They asked us to add these sample URLs to knowledge base. Let's do that. We can, I, I will quickly show you how this looks like. Let me copy it and go to knowledge base and add data sources, URLs. We have all these great URLs, add URLs, adding. We will first test this bot and then edit it to a pet store. All of the URLs are added. Before publishing it, I think we need to train. They're calling it training the assistant. So let's train our assistant. Run test. Hey there, welcome to VoiceFlow Beauty. My name is Claude. How can we help you? The problem right now is they don't have any prompts set up. The knowledge base doesn't have any prompts. I will show you in my pet store section how to set the prompt. You can shop beauty products. We have makeup, skincare. We can go makeup, rule free and all of these great products. And when you hit the link, it will go to sephora.com. All of these links can be edited. Let's see other flows. Let's go back to designer home and let's look at the customer service section of things. This is what I found really interesting. This would be a great value add because if you ask a question, how, what can you, what can I help you with today? Let's test this section. Let's say what it says. We said fed up we the ai will now classify my emotion which is i'm sorry to hear that you're feeling frustrated we understanding encountering issues can be frustrating this is huge because in the normal flows that we see we do not acknowledge the customer and we jump straight into the next question that sounds really robotic and this is definitely adding that natural and human-like conversation which is great. Here are some steps to help with your dry skin. 
this is great did that answer your question i will say yes perfect let's look at let's get a recommendation as well let's see how that works tell us what kind of makeup and goal you're looking for wow okay <laughs> let's say smooth skin the ai will now summarize the goals we will be recommended three of their products based on our goals this can be huge guys i was looking for something for a uh, something like this for a while now i've been trying uh, so many combinations on bot press to make the code work seeing that they had this inbuilt and ready to go for anyone is great great work boys and let's go back to home section and we'll also see returns and exchanges let's go to this section okay returns and exchange let's play it looks like you want to learn about your order are you reaching out about an order you placed let's say no because would you like to talk to an agent great yes okay now what happened is they are capturing our email issue which they are saving if you seen the capture card i shown you in basics they are trying to catch our user email and the issue that we are facing and then they are sending it to zendesk what we will do in this step is instead of sending it to zendesk we can actually send it to our own google sheets so that would be easier for us to see uh, which i will do that in the next step when we edit our pet template let's go back so we've seen orders purchases return and exchange like i said this uh, orders and purchases is similar to returns and exchanges let me show you what how i tweak this template at home i had something like this instead of having that access management i skipped it completely and from start i go to welcome message where create a short greeting instead of adding all of these link you will probably need to add links of your own product i will show you how to do returns and exchanges and customer service based on one answering the questions from knowledge base based on the last utterances with sentiment analysis that's one and two the shop pet products i will show you how to actually change the links of the products that are already available in the template and finally we will look at the returns and exchanges where i will show you instead of zendesk how to use google sheets so that we can capture the user's email and their ticket so for let's start with the knowledge base and for the data processing that i said earlier since it's a pet store i was looking online for some basic pet care documents that i could find usually these pdf files would be really big because the pictures that they have really add up right it has 25 pages and a lot of images so what i did was i went to zamzar which is a free online file conversion i'm not sure how many conversions you'll get initial one was free without sign up so i converted the file from pdf to text format the size is now 68 kb since voice flow has 10 mb knowledge base for pdfs or text files you need to be mindful as to which files you are adding which will be text petcarebasics.txt i have added that next i i am using cloud instant 1.2 because it's only one token these can really add up cloud instant max tokens 128 is okay uh, this is a system message this is important i'm not sure the length of the system message will affect the number of tokens just yet so i made a prompt that's not too big or not too small let's use this prompt you will find this in the description let's save so one important thing that i haven't shown you before is something called components if you look at this sidebar i already removed this get customer information in my pet store right if you want to use this bot exactly like you want to you can go to these components these are called 
components this one and even when you look at the zendesk one it's also a component and order information is also a component let's say you want to get the account information what you could do is you can link it to your airtable and have all of those identity access management uh, usernames passwords and everything in the airtable and the chatbot will then look up and see if if they are an existing customer or a new one you can do that and for zendesk as well everything is straightforward where you can it's a matter of having those api keys and what are all the things that you need to capture and account information order information as well for this they are using Airtable as well once you have your client order details you they need to be connected to Airtable and from Airtable voice flow will pull that information so i won't be showing all that in this tutorial if you want me to comment down below and i will do that another time which will be a longer tutorial for sure let's tweak our flow to avoid these let's say let me delete this since there is no way to differentiate whether it's a new customer or an old customer i will just start with this flow and i will add a text card to this let's say hello i'm richie from pet parade let's test it hey there i'm richie from pet parade let's say customer service i will ask any question let's see whether it uses knowledge base I'm saying st I'm struggling to take care of my pet. Let's see. I'm sorry to hear that. It's matching my sentiment and acknowledging that and then providing the solution from the knowledge base that we added, which is the pet care basics. This is working really good. Let's go back and see how we can shop and edit the product. Instead of makeup, dog food. In the same way, you can select cat food, whatever, uh, treats. You will need to change the block names as well if you want colors. And these are our best-selling makeup options. Again, there is a lot of room for customization and really make this to your niche. And I've already added this Royal Canyon Puppy. I will show you how to edit this. We already have a, a bum, right? We have to go to your client's e-commerce store. Let's say we need to add this product. Save the image. We will copy this name and we have the name description that we can add. We will add that. This is the important part for the add to cart. You can leave it at that. But the open URL, this is going to Sephora. You need to click on this link, copy it. Paste it here and it should be updated. Let's test it again. Which of our best sellers would you like to see? Let's say dog food. Here are our best selling makeup. I haven't edited that. As you can see, there is this Royal Canon. And once you hit, this is what we just added. If we hit, hit add to cart, we will be taken to your client's website. That's how you add any number of products that you want. Is This list looks limited, but there are ways to link it let's say a category of products all the dog treats in one section there are other ways if we are using flowwise ai and stack ai but for let's say under 15 to 20 products many shopify stores don't have over that for stores like this it is a perfect fit let's go back and see we covered most of the things if you have any questions you can join my discord and dm me to learn more let's see one last thing that is returns and exchanges transferring to an agent instead of sending this to zendesk let's add an api and delete that for this api you need this request variable let's go to make so once you're on the dashboard let's go to templates templates we need webhooks and google sheets this is the first option that showed up okay go to webhooks and create a webhook you need to copy this to clipboard and go to this get paste and hit send request status code 200 it's success successfully determined continue time for google sheets i am selecting the test make sheet that i just created i continue okay let's back up a quick minute 
Earlier, I was showing you how to capture this in Google Sheets instead of Zendesk, right? What happened was this agent handoff is a component. Send Zendesk ticket is a component. If you go to send Zendesk, it captures their name, email, user issue, and then goes to Zendesk API, dev API. You can totally use this with Zendesk or Google Sheets. It's hard to copy everything. And since already it already has the Zendesk plan routing and etc., I won't be editing this flow. Instead, what I did was I already added this new block, which is what's your email and we capturing that last utterance. In addition, you can add these questions as well great in short could you share the issue that you're facing and we capture user reply and save it in a new variable what i did with this bot is i capture user reply to instead of last utterance i went ahead and created a new variable called user email you can create whatever you want you can add a new question and capture the support ticket as well but this tutorial would be too long for that. So before we finally test it, since we already set up things on make, let's add this new block where it goes to success and you can add sorry that it failed or something else because our case is to get it to success, right? Once we have this, let's add parameters, email. And like I just said, I added in the user email, there is a default one, but I already created a new one. I'm using that success. Let's run this one. Now let's go back. And once we run that in make, let's send a request money at test.com Send request done. Scenario was completed. Let's go to Google Sheets and we see the values here. Here is the email that we just sent. And this is important once we set this and we are this is up and running let's go back and test this once again would you like to talk to an agent yes this would ideally be submit a ticket may i have your email dot com let's send it and it says great let's see whether we for some reason it did not work i had to go back to make and press run once and enter my email again in voice flow and this time it worked there we have it money at gmail.com let's try again let's hear from here not too far money at kanasani.com now it's uh, just let me test one last time money at finaltest.com should be updated in real time there you have it and to show you how to integrate this published bot onto a shopify store we have daniel from voiceflow i'm going to hit publish and once this is done uploading it's going to tell me to embed a snippet on my website so let's go ahead and do this and you can see that I can customize my chatbot down here uh, with the logo and different colors. But what I really want is this body tag that we're gonna go ahead and add to Shopify. So in Shopify, we're gonna go to edit code and we're gonna go to our theme.liquid file. This is gonna let you uh, add the chatbot to any page of your website. We're gonna go right down to the body right before the body tag, paste in the script and hit save. And that's it. So now when I go to preview store, um, you're going to see that it pops up here on the bottom right and I can go ahead and interact with it. So I can say something like, hi, let's start the conversation. And now I'm going to ask you something like, what is your return policy? And what's really cool about VoiceFlow is that every time a user has a conversation with your assistant, it's actually saving a transcript. And so if I go back to my VoiceFlow project here and I go to transcripts, I can see here that this is a conversation I just had where I said, what's your return policy? Hi, and I can go ahead and hit mark a review, save for later, and maybe even tag a teammate to come and check this out. Yes, it's that simple. Once you, there are other ways where you can 
integrate this bot on other websites it's almost the same if you want to learn more about that comment down below even this bot is really great as you can see once you start integrating with Airtable or Zendesk the possibilities are limitless you can charge way more the 1800 that I did to my client you can charge way more with all the features that are available in this bot and if you want to learn how to integrate voice flow with stack AI watch this video next